बिसमीम रबी असर वलात वसर वतमिन अल्लाम होप यू आर गुड दिस इज़ दी मैथमेटिक्स बुक डी थ्री अपडेटेड सेवन एडिशन एंड टुडे वी विल डू एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन बी क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन एंड इलेवन लेट स्टार्ट स्टूडेंट नाउ स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन मिस इज दिन वी रीड्स बेड टाइम स्टोरीज टू हर डॉटर किरण एवरी नाइट द टाइम टेकन फॉर और किरण टू फॉल स्लीप ऑन ईच नाइट इज अ पर्टिकुलर वीक इज शोन इन द टेबल बिलो दिस इज द टाइम फॉर विच द किरण फॉल स्लीप एंड द मंडे ट्यूजडे वेडनेस ए थर्सडे दीज आर द डेज एंड दीज आर द टाइम एंड दिस शो दैट इज दिस इज द अनग्रुप डाटा दिस इज द अनग्रुप डाटा कैलकुलेट द मीन एंड स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन ऑफ द टाइम टेकन for kiran to fall asleep and uh, this is the we have to calculate the mean and standard deviation of it and this is the ungrouped data and the formula which are used to find the mean and uh, standard deviation uh, is for ungrouped data now it's a uh, next part of uh, this question is mrs tanveer brought kiran on a holiday to nathia gali for a week This time taken for Kiran to fall asleep on each of the night during the week is shown in the below. Now the uh, the place is changed, and uh, this is now the next data is this one. Calculate the mean and standard deviation of the time taken for Kiran to fall asleep during the week in Nathia Gali. This is the now we have to calculate the mean and standard deviation of this time. And in part number three, we have to compare and comment on an answer in part one and two. We have to compare both the answer and we have to comment it. And we have to perform both questions separately. In the end, we have to compare it. Students, uh, uh, part number one. In this, uh, this data is required uh, for us to find the mean and standard deviation. we need this x square and sum of x square and the square of it we have to take the square of 23 it is 529 the square of 15 is 225 square of 8 is 88 times 64 and 13 13 times 169 28 28 times 784 and 66 times 36 Fifteen, fifteen times two, twenty-five. Now we have to take the sum of these values. We get the sum of these values. We get one zero eight. And by taking the sum of these values, we get two zero two uh, three two. Now, so the formula for finding the mean is. For the ungrouped data is sum of x over number of values. The sum of x we find it is one zero eight, and the number of values are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are seven. We have to divide the one zero eight by seven, and we get the fifteen point four minutes. we have to find the minutes these are the minutes and this, these are the mean time for which she fall asleep now we have to find the standard deviation the formula for standard deviation is sum of x square over n minus the mean value the sum of x square is 2032 and the total number of values is 7 and the mean is the square of it this is the formula for the ungrouped data for standard deviation and this is 15.4 square now we have to solve it
we get the 290.2 and 15.4 square we get subtract 237.16 now we have to subtract it 290.28 and we get to the 53.12 we take the under root of it under root answer and we get this 7.28 and these are the minutes 7.28 8 and in minutes these are the minutes now students part number two uh, we have to take this care of it these are the time which we he fall asleep he didn't fall asleep in Nathia Gali we take this care of 20 we get 400 Scare of 12 144 5 5 times 25 10 10 times 100 and this is 625, 9 and 12, 144. Now we have to add this value. By adding these values, we get uh, 87. And by adding this value, we get 1447. And now we have to take the mean of it. Mean for ungrouped data, the formula is sum of x over total number of value. The sum of x is 87 and the total number of values are uh, 7. By dividing it we get the 12.4 minutes and now we have to find the standard deviation. The formula for standard deviation of uh, ungrouped data is sum of and this is 1447 divided by 7 and minus x square is uh, this is 12.4 square now we have to for solve it 1447 divided by 7 we get uh, 206.71 minus we have to take the square of it 12.4 square we get the 153.76 and 206.71 minus answer we get the 52.95 under root answer and we get the 7.27 7.27 by round of you can also write it at like that 7.28 and these are the minutes and uh, now you can observe that the standard deviation is the same in both part the standard deviation is same the 7.28 minute the 7.28 minutes also but there is a difference in the mean values this is 15.4 and this one is 12.4 now we have to uh, compare the values uh, in part number three compare and we write our comment this is the time and this is the time for uh, Nathya Gali so we write it like that since the mean time taken by Kiran to fall asleep in in Nathya Gali is lower 
is lower so the time taken for kiran to fall asleep in nathia gali is shorter than this than this time which for which he falls asleep at her home then the time for which she fall asleep at home now this is the mean time now we have to talk about standard deviation the standard deviation approximately the same which indicates that the spread of the time taken for a uh, uh, kiran to fall asleep is the same in both areas is the same and for standard deviation both standard deviation are same which indicates that the spread of the time taken for kiran to fall asleep in both places are this same and uh, now students this uh, question is solved this is our analysis about the uh, which we have to find with that is the comparison which we have to write because the, that is the demand of the question number 3 and uh, now students the question number 10 is solved now students question number 11 two trains a and b are scheduled to arrive at a station at certain time the times in minutes by which the train arrived after the scheduled time were recorded in the table below these are the times and these are the number of the days for train a number of the days for train b we for each train we have to calculate the mean of the data and uh, standard deviation of the data and uh, now we have to answer this question which train is more consistently arriving late explain briefly your answer which train is more punctual on the whole explain briefly your answer we also have to answer these questions first the data which is provided uh, to us uh, in um, this is a group data because the minute is also given to us and there is also a number of train trains which arrive at that time that's why this this is the group data and the to find the standard deviation and the mean we use the formula which is used for group data now students question number 11 part number 1 for train a time frequency Uh, this is the time and this is the frequency now we have to find the fx fx this is the time is x we have to multiply the f uh, by x and we get the answer 2 multiply by 3 we get 6 2 multiply by 3 6 5 four times 20 12 5 times 60 and uh, 10 6 times 60 7 6 times 42 8 1 times 8 9 1 times 9 now we have to now we have to write the value of fx square in fx square we have to take the square of x this one is 4 4 multiply by 3 we get 12 this is 9 x square is 9 9 multiply by 2 we get 18 
4 4 times 16 16 multiply by 5 uh, we get 80 and 5 5 times 25 25 multiply by 12 and uh, we get 300 6 6 times 36 36 multiply by 10 we get 360 7 7 times 49 49 multiply by 6 we get uh, 294 8 8 times 64 64 multiply by 1 we get uh, 64 9 9 times 81 81 multiply by 1 we get 81 and now we have to add these values by adding these values we get 2 1 1 and by adding these values we get 1 2 0 9 now we have to find the mean and the mean for the group data formula is sum of fx over sum of f sum of fx is 2 to 1 and divided by 40 and we get the 5.28 standard deviation sigma fx square minus sum of f facts sum of f and this is the mean value the mean value is x square you know that this is fx square is sum of fx square is 1 2 0 9 we have to write 1 2 0 9 and this one is 40 fx is 40 this is 40 and mean value 5.28 square now we have to solve it one two zero nine divided by 40 we get the 30.225 30.225 minus 5.28 square we get the 27.87 and now we have to subtract it 30.225 minus answer and we get the 2.3 2.3466 we have to take the under root of it under root answer and we get the 1.53 and this is the answer this is the standard deviation now students this is the standard deviation and now students these are the mean value or now students these are the mean and the standard deviation for the train a now we have to find for the train b f by x and this is x and this is a frequency and by multiplying f by x we get 8 3 3 times 9 9 4 times 36 9 5 times 45 7 6 times 42 7 5 times 35 8 3 times 24 and this is 0 now we have to take the square of this value and multiply by x 4, 4, 4 times 16, 9, 9, 3 times 27, 16, 9 times 144, 25, 9 times, we get uh, 225, 36, 7 times 252, 49, 5 times 245, and 64 3 times 192 and 81 0 times 80 0 now students we have to add these values by adding these values we get the sum of fx is 199 and sum of fx square is 1101 and now students we have to find the mean the mean value is sigma
sigma fx over sigma f. This is the sum of uh, this value is 199 and this one is 40. By dividing it we get the 4.98 and uh, now we have to find the standard deviation. The formula for this group data. This is the group data. Sigma fx, sum of fx over sum of f minus mean square. And this value we have find out. This is 1101 over sum of f 40. And this x square is 4.98 square. Now we have to one one zero one divided by forty. We get the twenty seven point five two five subtract. Take the square of it four point nine eight square. We get twenty four point eight zero zero four. Answer twenty seven point five two five subtract twenty four subtract answer we get the two point seven two four six now taking under root of it we get the one point six five and now students this is the answer this is the standard deviation and this is the mean value now we have to find this value we have to find it and in the end in the part number two and three we have to compare it now students in part number two we have to answer the question which train is more consistent consistently arriving late briefly explain your answer we have to explain which train is uh, constantly arriving late late uh, consistently Train A is arriving late consistently. Train A arrives late consistently. Then because its standard deviation is lower. Its standard deviation is lower than the train B. It says 1.65 and train A is 1.531. Its standard deviation is lower than its. It means that this train is arriving consistently late than train B. Now students for question number three in we uh, we have to now students in part number three we have to explain why train which train is more punctual on the whole which train train B is more punctual the train B is more punctual then. train A. Train B is more punctual uh, train A because mean time of uh, it's shorter than that of the train A. Mean time is shorter than mean time is uh, because it's mean time is shorter than train a. You can observe that it means time is 4.98 for train B and uh, for train A is 5.28 and which its mean time is shorter. It means that uh, it is more punctual than the uh, train A and uh, now students question number 11 is also solved and 
i hope you understand this questions very well thank you very much students for watching my videos take care of yourself Allah.